I just got an earring order and got to give her my Venmo information. Venmo or, or PayPal. I like Venmo because Venmo doesn't charge me. I just can send a picture of my Venmo scan barcode or they can use it. They can look it up by name and easy, easy peasy. I got a new kit and it's a melon basket. And so we're going to make it using these. It's interesting. You feed one into another like so. We're going to try and get it real perfectly, perfectly halfway and straight up and down. Nice. I keep a five gallon bucket. You have a five gallon bucket, right? If you don't, I just don't know who you are anymore. Okay. You have to have a five gallon bucket. And our next piece is this. And so the five gallon bucket will keep all your reed restrained and not all over your house. So if you just snip these, you know, the stuff just goes boing. So that's what five gallon buckets for. Plus, when you're ready to tie your reed up back together and dry it out and hang it on the wall, however you store your reed, um, you're going to want to use the bucket to wrap that reed around in a circle. So keep it nice and neat. Ah, this is so hard to cut. Ooh, I scarred that a little bit. So I bought the kit with three melon baskets and the instructions are for the, the instructions are for the medium sized one and then there's you know slight alterations for the smaller and bigger ones so that is the bucket i'm going to work on first i'm going to work on the bucket i mean not the bucket it's the melon basket i'm going to work on first and i believe round read is the first step so i've soaked this for 20 minutes and i don't soak the handle piece and the rim piece which are exactly identical uh, because you don't want to work that or anything. That doesn't need to be soaked. The stuff that needs to be fe flexible is the stuff that you're soaking for 20 minutes. Henry is like, he wants someone to go outside and play, but nobody wants to go out and play because it's cold. Try and like, go eat. Apparently, he's got a nice fur coat and he wants to show it off outside to the little blue jays that ate all our carrots. Hate them, stupid blue jays. Okay. We need two 14 inch long round reeds. So I'm gonna use this lovely device here. These are not the best for this. The best are like trimmers for the garden, garden shears or whatever you call those things. I noticed that the more even and careful I am in the beginning of projects, the better the end product comes out. It's like at the beginning is when a lot of things can change. These are going to be spokes. <laughs> He's very carefully putting his cereal bowl down. So uh, spokes are the supports and weavers are the pieces that go in and out. So I needed two 14 inch long and four 13 inch long. Thirteen inch long items here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. And then don't need this guy. I need to cut the ribbons on here while keeping it in the bucket to make sure it doesn't explode everywhere. Because I have made that mess before, and I have learned. Basket weaving is very satisfying because. You can do it rather quickly and be done. North, east, south, west. Between the north and the west and come down. And then wrap it around the west. Well, it looks like 
they say that each read has a, a front and a back, but better quality read, you really can't tell much of a difference. So that looked like it's splitting a little, so I'm just gonna switch it to the other way. Okay, so, so we've got crossed here. We're going to wrap around the north. Holding down our loose read. Then I'm gonna wrap around the west. finger moved here so you can see it okay coming around the west one and now I'm going to wrap behind the south and then up over the east and then down so now every time you wrap over with that one that's the one that you have to come behind and you'll have to head back around the north again. Now we're all the way back to the north. Come around the north. And then the west. I want to get that sketchy looking area there kind of cut off. crud. Okay, so I'm behind this one, the west one, so I'm coming around in front of the west one, and then I have to go below the next, which is the south, and around, and around we go. Pretty, it's taking on a pretty pattern. pieces are awkwardly long. Yep. So the object is to go around these six times and I have gone, gone around them twice. You can count two loops on the inside, so I've gone around them twice. Yeah. So this is my third here and it doesn't even matter which way is up and down anymore does it now when I'm finished with the basket I can also singe these off now that I've got the hang of it it's starting to look very pretty let's take a look so you just go to the next one. I'm just keep going to the next one to the left and wrapping it. Trying to make sure to stagger these neatly so they don't overlap too much. Wrap behind the next one on the left. And I'm getting close to finishing my fourth set. Earlier I had a shorter strip of weaver and that wouldn't have worked very well because I want to use one continuous weaver for this portion. So make sure you grab a long piece. finished five. Had to put on some warm clothes today because apparently the weatherman forgot that it's spring and made it be a cold day. It's like 40 degrees this morning. Yesterday it was 37 and that is not typical. So let's see how many we have now. 
We have six on this one. And we have six on this one. We're putting our sixth one on here. Showing from the inside. And then gotta do my last, gotta do my last here. This one's in the right direction. I did it exactly the same way. Why is it at a different place when it stops? <laughs> ah! Cross this one over the front. So that one's going to weave this way, and the other one's going to weave the other way. I've got my 13 inch and I'm gonna pin it behind the God's eye, like that. I'm gonna put the second one, which is the 14 inch, next to it. So that one will be sandwiched between the 13 inch, it's just pinned in there, sandwiched between the 13 inch and the 14 inch. And then I'm gonna take the last 13 inch for this side and just Put it up there. It's held in place. Okay? And now I'm going to take the other 13 inch I'm going to take the figure out which one's the longer one. Here's the 14. The 14 is next. 14 you want to be the center spoke thereby making a nice round basket and then I'm putting in the 13 inch last and I've got my clips in the way here so I am about to remove those clips They're kind of in the way pull this one out now I'm going to weave I'm gonna weave this side first, over and under, all the way up to the other half. I'm gonna go over and under those spokes, and that should hold them in place. So this is gonna be the trickiest part, the first one. We don't want any gaps here. We want a tight little basket. So it goes over the second, which is the 14 inch, and under the 13 inch over the hoop, under the 13, over the 14, under the 13. That should pin it in place pretty well. And then we're gonna come over the top, head back. This time I'm gonna go behind the hoop. Actually with every project, just deciding that you're going to do the project is the easy part. Getting off your tail and making the first steps is always the tough part, but it's the most important part. I bought my kit from the period I period Reed and Kane Incorporated and I bought it from Amazon. And they shipped it right out to me. I got it in a really reasonable amount of time, despite everything. Very impressed. And this is my second kit from them. I buy the, I bought the three pack, although the teacher kit looks like a really great idea because the teacher kits are so much cheaper because you get way more. It's like a bulk option. So this kit cost me $38 and these are nesting baskets. So the smallest basket fits inside this is which is the medium basket and the large basket will fit on the outside of this medium basket. And they'll sit inside each other when they're not in use. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm liking I'm liking what's happening here. When you switch for a new reed is to get that both parts of the reed 
hidden the end and the new and the start hidden so no one can, nobody knows where you started and where you stopped when i finish my baskets i like to paint them with a nice urethane and that protects them from all the water damage that they're going to come in contact with when i rinse off vegetables in them and things like that so that'll make it last longer make them have a nice shiny color i like the pecan color urethane myself that's what i did with all my other baskets i used spray and it was a little windy and i regret that and next time i'm totally going to use a paintbrush to put it on i'll get back with you when i'm closer to the end okay it's getting to be kind of a tight squeeze in here so i'm having to shift these apart to get to the, the rest of the weavers through it says to use three foot lengths of the reed but I don't like to follow instructions. As a matter of fact, it said to read all the way through the instructions before starting. And I don't like to do that either because um, I get too excited and just gotta go, so. Gotta keep them separated. Oh, come out and play. Who's that, Weezer? Okay, almost done. Final Weez Weezer. This appears to be my final weaver. <laughs> Just gotta burn off the little hairs. Okay, Henry, gosh. Did you see I'm busy? All he wants is in and out all morning. Okay, that did not come out right. <laughs> the dog wants to go outside. Thanks for watching, you guys. I would appreciate if you give me a like and leave me a comment. See you soon. Sub if you want to, sub around the world. Oh gosh, why did I do that?